All right, we're going to talk about hooking up our light bulb SP250 pump. So this one already has the power hooked up, but I'll show you. Straight slot screwdriver to open the control panel. Inside the control panel, the main power is connected here, three phase plus a ground. And we haven't pre-punched the panel, so either facilities will bring the power in the top or they can bring it in the bottom and around. I wasn't sure how you were gonna do it, so we left that out. A couple of the components we've added to this panel. We've added the solid state relay for the GN2 heater, a fuse for it, and a contactor for the safety overload for the GN2. So this is very similar to the control panel for the old Pfeiffer pump, but we're using the vendor's motor starter equipment. Inside here is a PLC that monitors the SP guard, we'll talk about in a minute, and just some other auxiliary stuff. So once power is hooked up and power is applied, we'll see that the control power is on. So let's talk about hooking up the pump mechanically now. When you receive the pump, it'll be all packaged up like this, and we'll take the key and we'll open all of these square drives. We just need to do one side, really. This side is the only one we need to do. And then this just lifts off. And you can take this cover away and store it. Inside, we already have the umbilical hooked up to the oven, which we've seen in a previous video. You can probably do that first or last, your choice. Grab my pointer. So we'll see some of the features of this new pump. It's got it's got an oil cooler. It's got uh, the oil level is down here, so you want to check the oil level. So on here it has it has three different marks. So this is the maximum not operating and the minimum not operating. So it's right it's right about here. So that's the maximum not operating. This will drop when it's running. So we don't want it to go any lower than this minimum operating level here. And this has a sensor on it that'll shut it down. So the important thing about this new pump is this SP guard. So this, this digital little computer, you can toggle through with a push button on the display and it'll show you what the oil temperature is. It'll show you uh, gas temperature. It'll show you what the power supply that's inside the box is reading, 24.6 volts. It'll show you what the vibration level of the pump is when it's running. And uh, it'll show oil temperature. Did I already say that? Probably. So this, this, this basically monitors everything on the pump and will cause it to shut down if there's any problems. Uh, something that'll need to be hooked up is the purge. So the purge is going to be 80 to 100 PSI air or nitrogen, depending upon what you do. And there's a little hole in the bottom. Facilities can sneak the hose up and plug in. And then this'll, this valve will open automatically when you start the pump. And this readout should be about a two and a half bar when it's running. So we can look at that when we, when we turn it on. Uh, we've already installed the, the adapter to the KF40 and you have the one on the back of your oven, so this is the same as the other style. Now this is a slightly larger pump, so we have a little bit longer hose for this one. So just install this the same way we did before. Down inside this reducer is where our screen is, so you might want to take a shot. So this is some place that probably on periodic maintenance we should uh, take a look at that screen. You probably can't see it on the video. Yeah, you can see it. There it is. And just inspect that, make sure it's not clogged, make sure there's no debris in there. And if it needs to be cleaned, you'll have to take out these four big bolts and take the adapter off and remove the screen and clean it. Put on the hose here. Okay. Make 
sure our our air purge is on. This is this is just our ballast that sucks in a little bit into the crankcase to keep the moisture out. This one's the gas purge for the bearings, etc. So that's our provided air. We've got oil hooked up. So the next step is once we've got it all hooked up, we make sure we have our hose connected and our oven is not running so the valve is shut so that the pump won't have any load. We're going to need to check our phase rotation. So let me grab a flashlight and let's look in over here. We're going to look in to this this uh, hole right back inside here and there's a fan inside there. So be if you come around a little and look right in there. There's that there's that fan in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around and we'll see that the control panel. So once we have main power on from facilities, so we have control power, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press the start button to the pump and let it run for one second and then we're going to hit stop and then we're going to go look at the fan and make sure that it has correct phase rotation. So here we go. We turn it off, we come around, we look in the hole and we watch it spinning down and it's spinning and it was going down and that is with the arrow that's on the side of the pump. So that is going the correct direction. And that's very important. You might want to have two people just double check that. If for some reason it's going backwards, then we can come inside the panel, turn the power off, and then we'll just switch any two of the incoming phases to reverse the pump's rotation.